this is a little bit of a, I won't say tutorial, but um, you're probably watching this because you've got one of these, you're trying to flash, um, you're trying to upgrade an old iPod Classic, this is the fourth gen, or an iPod Mini or something, but compact flash, you want to use a micro SD card reader, you bought this cheap stuff from AliExpress or somewhere else and it doesn't work, well, uh, this is what you have to do. So I'm just going to, um, this is going to be like a full, not a demo, but I basically have broken, I've fixed this and I've broken it so I can show you what to do. So um, mm. you can skip all this if you've already got the folder icon, but basically uh, we are going to format the, the drive. Uh, Windows is just so slow. I'll fast forward all this. Right, so format format complete uh, close that we don't need that anymore uh, go into itunes and uh, we should see the restore so you're going to do a restore of the ipod hit restore you know it's probably doing something on the screen is it no, it's not it still says connected that's fine cool so we have restored that and it's going to come back and basically say that uh, it's not going to work anyway right so what you have to do now is, is take this out so in fact let me just show you what's going to happen you're going to be in this position where you get the little folder icon and it might have that it might not when i first did this i didn't have anything apart from the folder icon so you probably should take the battery out but it seems to be fine without it do that do that put it into an sd card reader of your choice this is a cheapo from amazon there we go let's go over to here don't need itunes anymore so we'll plug sd card into the computer there we go that's weird let's just try it now okay cool so what you should have to what you should do go into the hex editor victoria is the easiest one it's too too meg file it's tiny uh what you want to do is look in here for your removable drive mine is 32 gigs now you're gonna have i think that's the physical and that's the logical or that's the logical that's the physical either way you want to choose the one that's got a drive number so on number three uh go to disk editor open it up you'll see the eb is the first byte you want to change that to just click on it zero zero and then hit save and that should be it now, the reason why you do the first one, not the second one, is because if you do the second one, it won't actually recognize the drive. What you want to do is change the master boot record byte sector of the, um, I don't know how it works. Some magic, some clever people on Reddit figured this out about four years ago. And it's really cool. So we'll take that out. And I'll put this back in here. Put this back in here. We'll turn this over. We'll reboot. What we should get now is the plug into a power adapter. Cool. So plug it into a proper power source. It's really weird. This I've got loads of. I don't have. An, I don't have an original iPod charger anywhere anymore. So it seems to work on a USB um, power thing I've got. So. Plug it into a proper power source, give it a second, it will reboot, and then the like and subscribe iPod will come back, and we go into there, go into settings, go into about, and we see 30 gig drive is recognized. So uh, that's the easy way to do it. So I so said, don't bin, don't bin these. They do work. Uh, if, you do re if you do a restore for whatever reason, you have to just do that again. But to be fair, once you've taken the back of this once and then you put it back on, you know, they are easy to take off because you probably, like I have dinted it and broken a bit of plastic. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, so satisfying. It works great and it weighs like nothing. That weighs more than that. So cool. 
And uh, yeah, don't throw those AliExpress cheap ones away. They work fine. Thank you for watching.